What's up everybody? It's Jeremy here. I'm ocean bound heading to Point Judith. I don't know where to start with this. I love Point Judith. It is awesome, especially to wing waves because the waves are cleaner and it's just tamer there than anywhere else that they would be around. I love Point Judith. I don't love the drive. It's such a long drive. Oh my God, it's like an hour 40 to get there. I'm gonna park it. Camp Cronin on the eastern side. I think that'll be the best place to do set out, set forth winging. Let's talk about the conditions. It's pretty warm out. It's not really windy now, but it's gonna get windy. It's gonna get like, whoa, windy. So it, it, this is one of those days that like, you pack the six, cause that's what it's windy for right now, but you, you'll be on the 2.8 before you leave. Love my 2.8. Waves, all right, let's talk about waves. Eight and a half feet, South, southeast swell, 11 second period. Stoked. That is good. Driving down to Point Judith, not a care in the world. December 1st, first day of December. Checking December off of the list. Um, all right, that's all I got. Oh crap, it's legit down here. All these waves are big, dude. Yes. I see a surfer, half naked person driving around in a car. Oh, dude, this is gnarly. Gnarly.
feel like that's just one big uphill right here. Oh my god, it's crazy. We gotta ride the down slope. <laughs> here for a second. A couple of these waves are monsters. I just got stuck on one. I went to turn around and Dylan's like right there. I was like shit. And I didn't know, I could not run it. I mean I think he knows. Um, yeah we'll try to get another one of those again but just in a better spot. We'll try to stack over to the other side. I want to get another long one or two. So.
stoked so so stoked that's what it's all about this day what okay i'm gonna use a word if you're if you're a friend of mine you know i do not throw this word around lightly it's not like confetti i don't give it away for free this session was epic the conditions were epic there were there's something i can't even get you to I, it's so hard to explain unless you were there there were 15 foot waves on the outside when you were looking and when you're downwave, looking at the inlet, looking southeast and these big southeast waves coming in, 15 footers, it looked like you were looking, there was an optical illusion. It looked like you were looking up a mountain with these waves slowly cascading down at you like a, like an escalator or something. And then you get to the top and you look down and it, it looks like a massive snowboard hill. These waves are weird because they're not steep enough to really ride on a surfboard or a twin tip to feel like you're like on a wave you know they don't have the right shape they don't have the right vert to be able to do that but with a foil you can totally take advantage of their massive size and with a wing you can just totally luff out your wing and ride these monsters and feel like the man while you're doing it it's freaking awesome you can stay on the shoulder you can ride them for literally like almost a mile I had a blast. Dylan killed it. Eric killed it. Everyone who was there today killed it. Had a freaking awesome time. I, I'm just so stoked. Thank you so much, Remy, for getting those drone shots. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I don't know. This is just one for the history books. I'm super stoked. I made it down. Biggest waves I've winged to date. Yeah, I just, just look at this thing. I'm just, I'm just happy. So. I'm just stoked. Um, please click the like button if you like this video. Consider clicking that subscribe button if you want to see some more. With that, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the flip. I wish you all an awesome day. Thank you. Later.